I thought I would do a little demonstration on region IO density reports because this comes up a lot. Um, you can break down a region IO density based on your adaptive optimization or AO uh, policies or you can do that on a per VV basis. Now this is just a spreadsheet that I have previously done. If we just look at this section here, um, the data that I've collected for this particular AO configuration, there's three tiers, SSD, fast class, and nearline. And this is a real production workload, so this is something that was actually going on. And we can see that uh, when I totaled up all the information, the total capacity in the SSD tier was only about 9.7 terabytes. And that 9.7 terabytes was generating a little over 20,000 IOs. And the FC then was 37.5 terabytes, generating a little over 5,000 IOs. And of course, 82 terabytes, generating 217 IOs. So you can see that this is a really good, clean um, uh, AO uh, configuration. And, um, uh, you know, if, if it was me, I'd be really happy that that's, uh, uh, that's the numbers that I was getting. So let's... Uh, give you a, just a lab example of what um, these would look like in a test that I'm running and then putting together the spreadsheet so you can kind of illustrate those for yourself and track your own CPGs, VVs, and AO policies. Okay, so now we're on my uh, test system and I've already ran the commands a couple of times just to make sure the data was being collected in the system reporter. So um, if we do this, it's uh, SR region IO density, uh, BT seconds, so that's two hours. Uh, accumulated reports uh, on this test CPG here, we'll see that, right? So this is all volumes that are associated to this CPG is contained here. And uh, this is our capacity. And then this one here is I, our IOs per minute, all right? So we'll go to uh, building the spreadsheet later. I'm just reviewing this part real quick. If you wanted to see this on a per VV basis, we could just change this and say dash with VV, and that'll break it down on a per volume basis. So now you can see that in my test lab test system, I have really just two, uh, C, two VVs here, and the top one here, uh, 3PJVV1.0, is actually generating IO. You can see that over here. And the other one isn't generating any IO. And uh, from a capacity standpoint, you can see that they're, uh, this one's consuming a little bit more space than, than the um, uh, 1.0. So 1.1 is consuming a little bit more space than 1.0. All right, so if we just jump over to the system, this is the load system that I've got running. And we could take a look quickly at the volumes here. and. Here's uh, 1.0, and it's 19 gig, and this one is uh, 90 gig, all right? So that shows the difference here in, uh, in the capacity uh, being used. Okay, so let's kind of put this into a spreadsheet that we can... Um, we can actually start gleaning information from. And I'm gonna do this on a per VV basis. And the reason why, whoops, sorry. The reason why I'm gonna do that is I want to be able to illustrate uh, on a per VV which volume is actually doing some work. And then from the volume that's actually doing some work, I would be able to say, well, which one needs to be an AO and which one doesn't need to be an AO. All right, so we'll just format this real quick. Data, text to columns. Skip ahead if you already know how to do all this. Finish. Uh, okay. So we've got our CPG, VB names, and then these are really broken out pretty nicely. I'll shrink the screen down a little bit. There we go. Okay. So I've got two volumes. This is 3.1, or sorry, this is 3PJVV 1.0, and this is uh, 3PJVV 1.1. And now let's uh, just figure out all that. So we sum, and I'm just going to add up all of this. And do the same thing here. 
and then do same thing there and there okay so we can see on a per minute basis what the capacity is here and then what the IO generated from that capacity is here All right so I'm just going to do capacity and IOs Okay, make that bold so you can see a little bit better. All right, now this is um, per minute, right? So we need to convert that to seconds. Uh, let's see, the first one is capacity, so we need to break that down into gigabytes. And same here. And then here, we're going to change this to per seconds. All right. I think I'm just formatting this so that, do, 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 it's easier to read. And this is probably how you would do it anyway, kind of clean it up a little bit. So number one decimal instead of two. And we can see that this is 300 and, or 35, uh, what is that, 35 gig. And this is not one terabyte, or 100 gig, sorry, almost 100 gig. Pardon me, one terabyte. Uh, all right, so it's uh, uh, 100 gig and about 35 gig total space there. Now this is after RAID, right? So it's going to be a little bit higher than what the uh, when the other volumes were. Okay. Anyway, so we've got um, uh, capacity and IOs here, and if we look at this one, we can see that all the IOs are really generating or being generated in this range, right? Actually, from here up. Uh, but the importance of 64 for me is this is typically where I look at anything from 64, which is half the size of one region, um, and uh, to the right would actually be tiered up right so let's just highlight this is the part that would be tiered up if we had additional capacity in this volume that was not generating generating io and you can see that there is a little sum right there this right here would either remain or tier down and typically what i look at is anything between one io and 32 this range here is the one that typically will stay in fast class and then this section here if I had it, would would generally go into near line, right? So we've got a little additional space there being consumed that uh, is not being, uh, there's no IO to it, so it's not being, um, uh, if it was in a tiered situation, this wouldn't be tiered, right? All of this would, this activity here. And then of course this would be the same here and here. Again, I'm just trying to kind of break out the spreadsheet so you can do it for yourself later. And you can kind of figure out what your system's doing and uh, if you need to do any adjustments or whatever. All right, so we can see that this section here is really the part that we, the IOs here, and the capacity being used here would be tiered up into SSD. This part here would generally be into fast class, and again, this part here in near line. Um, all right, so again, this is per VV base. So what that would what would this tell me? Well, this would tell me that this volume I might want to put into AO, right? Because uh, I'm in this range and I'm generating 9,000 IOs um, off of this. Um, this amount of capacity, right? So there are about 35 uh, gig of capacity, or sorry, 35, yeah, 35 gig of capacity is uh, generating 9,000 IOs. And then I've got, you know, uh, 100 gig of capacity is generating nothing, right? So this one, I would not put in AO. This one, I would put in AO. Um, and then when I 
uh, if I were to look at, at a per CPG basis, uh, which is the next thing, you would do it exactly the same way, right? So I would just go to here, and I would pull up my CPG, and again, I'm looking at, let me grab that, sorry. Grab this. So this is per VV, and then this is gonna be per CPG. You can see that the data that I'm collecting is identical. Uh, I like looking at this um, when I'm tracking AO, so I can kind of gauge uh, how well it's performing. All right, so this is per VV, right? Per VV, and this is just the CPG. And I just use the same metrics here. And the same there. Right, so for this CPG, this is the total capacity. And this is the total IOPS. Right, now so why would that matter? Well, that matters when you're looking at a bunch of different CPGs, right? So if I was looking at all of these, you look at all these different CPGs here, right? I guess some of these are not in AO, some of them are. And then here I could say, well, here's the capacity that's running in this CPG. And then here's the IOs that are running in this CPG. And does this make sense to go into an AO configuration? Right? And it might, it might, depending on, you know, what you're doing. And then here's another one and another one. And you can see here, I, I grade these out because I don't believe that these should ever be in, in an AO configuration. This is, they're both, well, this is near line, this is fast class, but you can see that the IOPS are five and this one's 232, right? Now this is, this sampling is done over a 24 hour um, window where my other one was done over uh, two hours. This is over 24 hours. So you can, this is, again, this part here is all real world on uh, some uh, production systems. So these here, I might want to move into AO and maybe definitely these move into AO. Um, but this, uh, no, right? So I would keep those outside of AO or if I did, I, I know that I would probably just have like a near line fast class tier or just maybe assign those to AFC if I wanted, right? So anyway, um, just a quick demo on showing you how to take a look at region IO density and uh, how to build your own spreadsheet so you can start tracking the information uh, on a per VV basis and per CPG basis. Hope this was helpful. Thanks.